What's up guys, welcome back to the video. This is gonna be a video like I've never done here on the channel. I've never done a breakdown of a rider falling. And not just any rider, but the leader of the free world, the president of the United States, Joe Biden, fell off of his bike today, but why? The New York Post tells me this with this headline. The headline reads, Biden's tricked out bike loaded with extras and one caused his fall. Now I get it, they're trying to be edgy to get people to click on the article so that they can just show you an outdated bike that is not loaded with all these extras. But one thing did make them fall. But before we get to that breakdown, and I'm gonna slow it down and do a full on breakdown, I wanna check out these images. I found these images showing them on their ride and not really, not really promoting good bike safety. I mean, Joe Biden, your wife, who's a doctor, a doctor? I mean, a dentist can be a doctor, right? But she has a doctorate. So being so educated, she's she's not really wearing her helmet properly. She's wearing it like a four-year-old. I mean, I've seen kids actually wear helmets better. She has it completely sideways on her head. I mean, it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna fall off your head if you go to fall. Joe, you're also, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not doing what's right. You, you gotta buckle the thing, man. Come on, man. You gotta buckle it. You gotta buckle, you know, the thing. You gotta buckle it. Otherwise, it's gonna fall off your head. But luckily, you had it buckled for your fall. Man, I gotta do some other breakdown too. Look at this photo here. Let's zoom in right now. The Secret Service have a better bike than the President. I mean, granted, it should it should be an electric bike like it is. It's a, it's a mid-drive electric bike made by Trek. It does pick up probably 28 to 30 miles per hour, which is awesome. But that's probably something the President should be riding, right? You don't want him falling off his bike because it's outdated. Not even to mention this guy's worth $41 million and he's riding a bike from 2004 to 2006. It's a Trek FX model, which means it's it's of a series of Trek that you know that they offer, but it's from 2004 to 2006. I'll break down how I know that, uh, even though I can't necessarily see the exact model, but I can kind of get a good idea. So looking at the Secret Service bike setup and not just mention his entire kit, I know what's underneath the shirt. Um, I'm, a, I'm pretty well versed in what's underneath his shirt and I'm not, I know it's Pride Month, but I'm not talking like that. I'm talking like, you peel. Anyway, so <laughs> with that being said, let's do the breakdown clip right now. And uh, man, let's try not to laugh. I know it's embarrassing, you know, when you fall, but it's, it's very entertaining to watch people fall. Let's break this down. All right, so Joe Biden is in Delaware at the local beaches, and he's coming to a complete stop to talk to the press. But he has these caged toe clip pedals. These cage pedals can be pretty dangerous for anyone out there, not to mention somebody is pushing 80 years old. I would not be riding these pedals as I am right now, and I actually would rather ride clip pedals because you know when your foot is out of the clip. Now, with that being said, these things can be pretty dangerous. Now, the first thing I noticed was the fact that he is right foot forward, or at least looked like he was right foot dominant, especially in the photos, carrying into the video, which means when you're right foot forward, you wanna pull out your right foot first to be able to come to a complete stop, plant that right foot, and then take out that left foot and make sure you don't fall. That's not the case. He took out his left foot and then tried to take out his right foot, and yeah, you already know what happened. Let's, let's watch it in slow-mo. Now that's the loaded extra that the New York Post is talking about, his caged pedals. Man, I found these caged pedals on Amazon. Not to mention, I found another thing on Amazon, the gloves stood out to me. I was like, where have I seen these gloves from? They're not cycling gloves. I mean, they look like, yeah, they're lawn, gardening, everyday gloves. They're like maintenance gloves, like a mechanic would wear. If you're gonna cycle, man, you gotta get the good stuff. And being worth $41 million, I'm not saying that it's, that it's goes hand in hand if you're worth millions and millions of dollars you gotta have the best stuff out there but your secret service is, is more tricked out than you dude I mean you probably wouldn't have fallen especially if you didn't have those cage pedals but you probably wouldn't have fallen on that bike so with that being said I mean how I know it's from 2004 to 2006 is by the era when I'm looking at the brakes now the FX series actually introduced like uh, hydraulic brakes, I want to say 2010, maybe 2013. I'm not exactly sure on the exact date. I know that they introduced it on their higher end models 
closer to 2010, and then all across the board right now, they have hydraulic brakes, I wanna say like 120 millimeter rotors, pretty decent bikes, not bad. He probably should upgrade one for sure. And uh, with that being said, look at the caked on grease. I mean, I'm a huge advocate of taking care of your bike because it'll take care of you. And the fact that he ate it, it goes to show that the bike just had enough of him. But the funniest part of this entire clip has nothing to do with the fall, at least in my opinion. A lot of people find some entertainment out of it. I'm not gonna speculate on why he fell. I obviously think it's an error with him being right foot forward and using his left foot to put down first and then, you know, sliding out the wrong foot. Some people say, you know, he's just not all the way there or his handlers should probably get him different pedals. I agree with that second part of the statement. All right, so the funniest part of this whole video to me is he blamed the pedals for the reason why he fell. Okay, Mr. President. You okay, oh, I'm Mr. good. President? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work. I keep on taking these, these things off. I got my foot caught in it. No, man, you got, you, at one point, you gotta blame yourself. I do recommend that his handlers do take off the pedals and they probably upgrade his bike entirely and the little end clip of him saying, all right guys, see ya. That was kind of laughable as well. <laughs> so with that being said, I feel embarrassed. I, I feel like most cyclists, when they watch this, it was kind of cringe because you feel bad for the man. You feel embarrassed to be a cyclist because now everything in referencing of cycling, people are gonna think of Joe Biden falling off his bike and yeah. At least we can think of it for the next week or so. So with that being said, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, funny little breakdown videos like this you want me to do, put them in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, put those in the comments below as well. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you'd love it, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you next one. Guys, see you.